Hello, good morning friends. Today I am going to provide a video lecture on positive and non-positive displacement form. Myself, Abhul Borawa, I am basically from Assistant Professor in Model Institute of Engineering. And today I am going to present a video lecture on positive and non-positive displacement form. Basically, pump is very important device for the mechanical activity because everywhere it is utilized for fluid transport purpose. Pump is a mechanical device used for transfer of fluid from one place to another place. Also, it includes from lower level to higher level transportation. Basically, it converts mechanical energy into pressure energy. And pumps are basically classified as positive displacement pump and non positive displacement pumps. Here, the classification of the pumps is Pressure reduces, partial vacuum is 
So in case of external vehicle, these two pumps, whenever the mass is in the use, then the discharge is possible and mass out of the structure is possible. Similarly, in case of internal vehicle, one special safe should be provided and its pain is pre-sensed and it is useful for dividing two pressure vehicles. One is lower pressure engine at suction side and one is higher pressure engine at the discharge side. In case of internal gear pump, whenever gears are in mesh, that is generated the discharge and the gears are out of mesh, that uh, indicates the suction of fluid. So here, the out of mesh here is there. So uh, here the suction is possible and here in mesh, so from here discharge is possible. Basically, in case of external gear, in case of external gear, two separate shafts are there, so two bearings are provided. In this case, only one bearing is provided at the center shaft. So, load, load of the bearing is divided into two parts, while in this case, bearing load is handled by only one shaft and one bearing. So, that's why there is chances of lack of failures in case of external gear, but more failure chances in case of internal gear pump. So, we can say, lesser maintenance is there and more maintenance. Secondly, the handling of the type of fluid. This kind of pump is utilized for smaller viscosity to medium viscosity fluid and this kind of pump is utilized only for very smaller viscous fluid. So this is the construction of gear pumps. G over. It is also the type of the gear pump and one type of the internal gear pump. Basically, inlet is possible from this side and this is the discharge. So, red portion indicates suction and yellow portion indicates discharge. Suction is possible. Why? Because area increases, pressure decreases, partial vacuum is generated and fluid moves towards the inner side of this gear. Similarly, at the outlet side, how the discharge is possible? So, whenever area decreases, pressure increases and discharge is generated. Basically, in case of this in inner side gear, there is four teeth are there and outer side gear, there is five grooves are provided. So, we can consider as outer teeth having n numbers, then inner teeth having n minus one numbers of grooves and teeth. So, this is the basic construction of G rotor power. Now, log rotor. So, this is very important and very special construction of the log rotor pump is that when it is indicated that two logs are connected with each other but there is clearance point and the misconception is running on that both are connected inside the casing but the thing is reality is that in case of casing only logs are mounted and it is driven by outside timing gears which is mounted outside external from this casing and connected with the tower timing gears and two separate shafts. In case of log motor pump, from downside, suction is possible because area is increases, volume is increases, pressure is decreases, partial vacuum is generated and suction is possible. So that's why fluid moves towards inlet, it travels towards the periphery and moves towards the upper. From this side, similarly, the same thing should be possible. So this is the construction of log motor pump. Basically, in case of uh, now, proceed towards the vent pump. So, in case of vent pump, balanced vent pump is there and unbalanced vent pump is there. In case of balanced vent pump, as indicated, two inlets and two outlets is mounted. So, in case of two inlets and two outlets, what happened? That pressure is equally provided at two 180 degree sides. So, 180 degree inlet is there, 180 degree outlet is there, which makes the balance condition. And that's why there is negligible central sum back in this side. While in case of unbalanced pump, this side, this portion, there is lower pressure and this portion having higher pressure. So one side by low pressure, one side by huge pressure and huge pressure difference because of that central sum back in this side. And that's why the failure chances maximum in case of unbalanced pump. While in case of balanced pump, it is balanced condition to avoid. That is why there is lack of chances of the maintenance is there. In case of balanced pump, it is more suitable for huge applications and for unbalanced pump, it is less suitable for the applications. Now, the thing is external piston pump. Axial piston pump, here the exploded view is indicated where one valve plane is there, there is the inner block, all of the pistons and slippers are there, and here the ball joints. And universal joints are there. So, this is the exploded view. Means, how
So this is brief summary of the bombs. Thank you.